In this series, we're going to be looking at five most costly mistakes startup businesses make. Five most costly mistakes startups make. My name is Bumi Tokon and I'm from StartYourOwnBusinessAcademy.com where we help you build high performance businesses. The reason why we want to talk about these costly mistakes is that I don't want you to make them. I don't want you to make these mistakes. I really want you to have a look at them, think about solutions, work on the solutions so that your business does not collapse, but your business grows and builds and grows and builds until it achieves exactly what you had in mind for it to do. So, the first mistake we're going to look at, which a lot of startups make, is trying to raise funding without first generating some level of sales. It will amaze you how many people come with their business plans with just an idea. Or if they have a plan, it means also they have a system. However, within that plan has to be proof that the business works. The only way you can have proof that a business works is to have sales. Sales is the proof that the idea works. I'll tell you something else. Sales is the proof that the investors will get their money back. Sales is the proof that when they put in uh, an amount of money, they're going to get a return. Sales is the proof that you would cover your costs. Sales is the proof that your business will work. Without sales, there's no proof. And what I'm talking about here is just some level of sales. It doesn't have to be a thousand units or a hundred units. It could just be five units, three units already sold, ten units already sold, fifty units already sold. Depending on what it is, 100 units already sold. You know, I was watching Dragon's Den the other day. I like watching Dragon's Den once in a while just to see how those uh, 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 people deal with startup businesses. And a particular group of people came on that were selling dolls. And what was surprising to me was that they had this huge amount of stock totaling about 80,000 pounds. But their level of sales was so small that it would take them 25 years <laughs> to sell off all those stock they had. Because of they were selling, I think, one, one every two weeks or something. It would have taken them 25 years. Who wants to invest in that kind of business? I'll tell you something else that people say. They say to me, well, I need money before I can make a sale. Well, that's a poor business. That is a poor business model. A high performance business model says, I can make some sales even before I start trading officially. I can make some, I can make some sales. You've got to be in a position where you can make some sales, however small it may be, before you go to raise finance. And there's no point uh, 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 buying lots of stock and not making any sales. No, you've got to make sales before you go to funders. Funders love the fact that you've made sales. Let me tell you why this is so costly to a business. If you're not making sales, there's no proof to yourself that your business will work. And a business that is not making sales on a regular basis will soon collapse because that kind of business is not able to generate enough money to cover the costs of trading. So, one of the most costly mistakes people make is to go for funding without first generating some sales. I'm going to come back with four more, and until I see you, listen to uh, uh, more all of these uh, five uh, mistakes and and put into practice what you need to. You can go over to our website to receive a gift from, from me, and it's uh, startyourownbusinessacademy.com. And also, you can email me to boomi at startyourownbusinessacademy.com. Subscribe to this channel 
for we're doing videos now almost every day. Speak to you soon. Bye.